so why did I try my suit on today and my suit does not fit I am like totally low-key freaking out so on my last um, prep I lost like a whole bunch of my butt and I spent a lot of time growing my glutes, um, getting them round her. And I did some progress pictures the other day and I knew my glutes were big <laughs> and I wanted them big, but I wanted them to, you know, shrink for the stage and be tighter. You know, I wanted larger glutes that were tighter um, just because I've lost you know, 150 pounds and it's harder to have everything tight or as tight as other competitors and when my suit didn't fit and it was completely in my butt crack today whoo boy I lost it because I feel like I'm just working so hard so um, I'm gonna keep you guys posted on the the suit um, incident and see if it's just like the wrong cut, are my glutes really that big, wrong measurements, um, do I need to start running for my life and shrink my booty? And I'm laughing in delirium, but like I'm totally upset. Hey guys, it's Eve. I am here to give you updates on how week number nine went. I guess I have to kind of think about it sometimes. Now that I'm getting a little bit lower carb and my mental focus is not um, the best, definitely tons of stories that I could probably share with you guys. But um, week number nine went um, pretty well. It was definitely the hardest week that I had um, thus far. Training was harder, food was harder, um, just like focus, emotional state was like just completely just off the chain. But um, the biggest changes that I had were um, getting my food modified a little bit and then adding more cardio in. So I am now up to six 25 minute sessions per week of cardio. And then I added in one spin class. So I went back to Corey's spin class um, at LA Fitness. I mentioned her in one of the people articles um, that I did. So I did five days of just like steady state, Stairmaster, um, incline, um, you know, treadmill walking at like 10 to 12 um, percent for the incline. And then when I couldn't get on those things, I would get on the elliptical machine. So my off season, absolutely no cardio. Um, if there was a day that I did it, it was just for mental sanity. But I slowly increased my cardio since May and now nine weeks out I am up to 25 minutes six days per week with one day not doing any cardio and I'm really really proud of that um, and then my body fat percentage was tested and I got down to 14.4 percent which is awesome I started this prep around 18 percent so I'm right on track of where I need to be numbers wise but then um, I definitely could tell that I needed to bring my thighs in because I'm definitely quad dominant and then I grew my booty on my off season a lot of you guys know that um, I had my Eve Fit Chick booty booster program so I started to notice that my butt was a little on the large side. Um, definitely great for off season and for dresses, bikinis, and all that other stuff. But for figure, booties do not win figure. Um, so I definitely realized visibly that I needed to bring um, my booty in. All right, so food updates for you guys. So some of my staple foods, I've been posting them in other YouTube videos, so make sure you check them out so you can see some of those items. Um, I went from a moderate carb diet to um, a low carb diet, not completely restricted, but um, I am doing a lot of volume foods to get fuller throughout the day. So I'm eating things like um, rice cauliflower, I'm adding a lot of like um, shredded cabbage, broccoli slaw, 
raw to my uh, bowls of like rice and potatoes to fill me up more. Um, some of my staples are still um, making like a half serving pizza out of the Joseph flat wraps. Um, also, um, having protein pancakes for some of my carb sources and then getting my protein up. Egg whites, I used to hate them. I love them. I have egg whites every day. I have some type of creative omelet, whether it has like turkey pepperoni in it or um, shredded chicken breast that's like seasoned with a homemade buffalo sauce that I make with um, Greek yogurt and um, Frank's hot sauce. But um, a lot of those items like are my staples. They're my go-tos. I know that they're lean enough for my macros. There's enough protein and they're usually low we're in carbs. I'm still eating um, white rice, jasmine, basmati, red potatoes, um, brown rice. I mix it up. I do not limit my carbs. Variety is definitely key. If you guys are interested in um, getting my If It Fits Your Macro grocery list, whether you're on prep, whether you're just trying to get to a um, healthier body weight and get to you know more of a healthy type lifestyle, be on the lookout for a free um, guide that I'm going to have that will have my staple grocery list and it's something that you guys can implement into your plans um, as this video um, gets edited I will be adding it to the description box so that you guys can um, sign up for my email list and get this free if it fits your macros grocery list Thanks so much guys for checking in to get my week nine update and staying interested in how I'm doing. Thank you guys for all your support. Oh my gosh, all your support on Facebook, um, on Instagram, on my YouTube channel. Me inspiring you guys really, really keeps me going. Um, also at the end of this video, I will show you guys some current pics of me and some progress photos so you can see how I am progressing. But I can't wait to let you guys know how week eight went for me and as always like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one Darling, you